to see you here. Thanks for coming to see us. How are we doing? Good. There he is! Ah! Look at that! Surprise! I honestly thought you were going to go the whole show, and I was like, let's do it. <laughs> oh, damn, I should have kept it on, man. No, it's, up, it's all up to you. How are you doing? I'm so thrilled. Both here for the first time. Thanks for coming to see us. Now, Lakeith, lots to talk about. Your mm. name, I don't know if you know about this, your name was trending the other day from this photo yeah. uh, from Replica Man. The magazine posted it online. Woo! Lots of people talking about it. Yeah, I okay. love it. How, how did we land on this look? What did you think of the, of the amount of attention that it grabbed? Well, I, um, I have an insecurity with my legs. I don't really, I never like to wear shorts. I don't like to show them. Oh, really? So I decided in that photo shoot I was going to challenge that insecurity and kind of just do something different that made me feel uncomfortable, but that would be rewarding at the same time. So I threw on the shorts, I threw on the socks, and I was actually looking at something on the wall, and the guy snapped a photo. And I always sit like, you know, I, I like to be comfortable, so I yeah. sit like this, and boom, there it goes. It was just like a little happy accident. <laughs> I don't think you need to worry about this. These yeah. are good legs. Yeah, well, thank you. I can yeah. confirm that. Those are, those are good legs. <laughs> good legs. Ryan, <laughs> was, have you got the legs to pull this off? I, I like sitting like that, too. Let me see. <laughs> yeah. I think you do. Soccer legs. I think you do. Yeah. I, need I actually think I'm at my best from the knee down. We gotta start. You've got amazing calves. Yeah, from amazing. the knee down, we I'm at do my best. We gotta do the leg challenge. Everybody get out there, put your legs out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or sort of speak, do something that you were afraid to do, but now you're not afraid to do it no more. That's yes. it. That's a very, very good advice for everybody. Now, Ryan, of course, look, most people know you as a, a singer-songwriter, but you started out you, first of all, when you were at school, do you do lots of musical theater? Yes. Which I can uh, imagine you in a musical. Uh, what sort of shows did you do? Oklahoma, funny enough, with the, that uh, Some Like It Hot. Oh, so yeah. I was nice. actually, now imagine this, mid-late 90s, central Oklahoma out in the country. I was in full drag, which uh -huh. was really popular at the time. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that was, I'd go from the football field straight to rehearsal and back. I was basically like that guy from Glee. That was... That was, that was no, it. literally, Glee came out. And it was Finn, I think that was the name of the, the actor, or uh -huh. the, the name of the character, but that literally I would sneak from, like, football practice and basketball into the theater, you know, throw on the dress, do the gig, and then, uh, yeah, the rest is history. I love that. My school was the same, except for the football practice bit. I yeah. didn't yeah. make the cut <laughs> for that. I mean, Nikki, you recently, you went home uh, to, back to uh, Victorville and you spoke to your high school drama teacher and the students. What was that like for you? It must have been quite an amazing moment. I like your tie. Is that, is that Gucci? It is. Oh, that's fine. You can have it. Do you want it? Your whole suit is hard, man. You on some. You on some. Yeah, man. I like it. <laughs> um, I, well, I went back home, and it was like a beautiful thing. It's weird, because I've, 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 I've uh, you know, got some success, and I come back in a nice car. I had a Lamborghini, and I pull back up home, and it's the, the stark contrast of where I came from to where I kind of made it to was really astounding to me, and it was a beautiful poetic metaphor for how far I'd come, and it was kind of difficult to get outside of my hometown. I never thought I was gonna go outside, let alone yeah. see the world. And so it was like a beautiful thing to bring back a gift to where I live from. And not only just the gift of, like, you can do this and you can make it out, but also it's like I could talk to the people and, and directly tell them, don't think you can't do something, because you can, because yeah. I was exactly where you are. So, so being, you know, going back to my drama teacher, she was one of the only teachers I really liked. I had mm -hmm. a hard time following instructions same, and, and same dealing with that. Same, so. drama teacher, same. Yeah, really? Yeah. Same, that was the one who got me, literally, she's why I'm here today. Anyway, yeah. sorry to cut you off. No, I had good, a chime yeah. in. No, so, so, so then I got to sit down with her, and she introduced me to all her students and stuff, and it was cool to be able to talk to them and just basically say, keep going, you know? So it was, it was far. It's an amazing thing when you go back to school or you go home, you're suddenly aware of the road that you've traveled, which when you're traveling the whole time, you, you don't experience that. I mean, now, Ryan, you've written songs with some of the, you know, the biggest artists in the world. When you're going into a studio and you're with some of these people and you're like, you know, when, when Adele and people like that come yeah. in, what do you do day one to set the scene before you start writing a song? What do you do? Uh, smell is important, um, as the sage that was burning uh, backstage. Yeah. Uh, smell is important, so I'll light, literally light candles. Um, I show up 30 minutes before the set, or before, sorry, before the session, and I literally just think about that artist. What do I want to hear them say? What have they not said? Are they in a relationship? Once they show up, the, the first hour of every writing session is the most important because the artist tells you what you're going to write about. They don't know they're telling you, but if you're like Adele or if you're like Miley, you burst through the door and you're just spilling your guts. I'm just sitting here listening, listening, listening. 
That's the phrase. That's what we're going to write today. So songwriting is 50% is therapy and being empathetic and listening. And then the rest is like talent and activation and all those other things. Now, the key, I want to talk to you about this out of a four year wait. Atlanta is back, the third season. Shot in Europe. I can't wait. I can't wait to see it. Uh, what are some of the places, where did you, some of the places that you shot the show, what were your favorite places? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and what can we expect in this new season? We shot in Paris, Amsterdam, London. Um, uh, one of the, the best places for me was Amsterdam. You know, mm -hmm. it's just like, I love being out there, the experience of, you know, uh, experimenting with this, uh, with this experience and consciousness and seeing where you can go, experimenting with things there. It's just much more liberally accepted in certain parts. And so I love that part. And then, you, you know, we shot in the red light district, which was really interesting because there were people who, get this, live there. People yeah. live there. Yeah. No, 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 yeah, it's like when you're in Soho in London. I didn't know people actually lived there, and there was this guy who lived above where we were shooting, and he was kind of harassing us the whole time because he was trying to, like, get in with the red light stuff. And we was like, no, we're filming. Right. You know, so then he was like, oh, okay, but I still want to get in. And I'm like, you know, you can't get in. <laughs> I mean, you, uh, you and Donald Glover, did you, did you click straight away? How did you meet? How, yeah. how did it come about you being in the Well, show? yeah, it was a trip because we just met at uh, like a little, it was like a Hollywood like get together where you go to network and stuff and all the upcoming actors and actresses and directors kind of congregate. And I was just dancing by myself because I just like, if you know, I don't really look at other people for my fun. I kind of do it, whatever I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. So I just jumped on the stage, started dancing. And then I looked up and he was like, yo, I think you're perfect for this role. You know? Just that, just on a dance routine. Yeah, because I think he just understood like Darius would need certain layers that I was uh, expressing at the time. You know? I love that. I cannot wait for the show. The third season of Atlanta premieres Sunday, March 24th, <laughs> and on, on FX, and the next day on Who Can Stick Around. We'll be right back, everybody. All right, well, we're seeing this a little bit. We'll be right back after these messages.